Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of the Top Test brand, their TS-501B sound level decibel meter with a 2.25 inch backlit LCD screen. It'll do A or C weighting and ranges 30 to 130 decibels as a min-max and a data hold. This gets excellent customer ratings and it included the three uh, AAA batteries, a name brand, really nice to get that included. And uh, the unit itself um, also includes a really nice carrying case that you can keep it in, in your lab, and a cover that goes right on like that to protect the microphone. So you take this cover off, and then you have the microphone exposed right there, and it has a little foam piece. The nice thing about the foam is that it helps in wind so that you get, don't get false readings. So it's very simple. You hold this for about a second. It comes on. I'm going to turn on the light, the backlit, so you can see the display. So you see as I'm talking, it's moving really fast, giving me the decibel rating. And you typically want to point this at the source because it's a, uh, a pattern like that that comes out of the microphone. And you notice the word fast right there. You can go slow. So now, look, it takes more input energy for it to rise and to low or go back to fast, depending on what you're recording, whether you want it to be slow or fast. And you also notice it has a min and, min and max, so let's just try that, hit the min max right there. So there's the minimal and the maximum on the top right there, and it stops reading at this point, as you can see. So you hold this like that, and then it goes back to reading. So that's nice if you want to get two references of like a speaker that has two points, a low and a high, you can actually uh, lock that in place. You also notice that it has temperature on here, centigrade or Fahrenheit, 70.6, and it has the, the humidity. And that's really nice that they've added that because uh, all the measurements I took with other devices, that's really accurate. So not only does it do sound level measuring, but it does percent humidity and temperature. So I'm gonna keep this upstairs to monitor things like my furnace and make sure that it is producing the right type of non-humid air in wintertime, as an example, or low humidity for air conditioning, as another example. And again, you go centigrade or Fahrenheit right there. And depending on whether you want A rating or C rating, the default is A. You hold this centigrade or Fahrenheit, and you see it goes to C rating. And these are just two different industry standards that you can go back and forth on. Depending on what you're measuring, you can just pick whatever choice you want there. There's also a low battery indicator that will come on on the upper right, right there, letting you know that if the battery is low. And it also comes with a really nice manual to help you out, really nicely written. And it also has a data hold. Anytime you want to hold the number, it will lock it in place for you. And that's really handy, especially when something's varying like my voice and you want to see it stop right there and go back to normal. Uh, very handy to have that button right there. So if you're setting up a audio amplifier system, stereo or mono, this is excellent. As you can see, you can get a reading of the speaker and you can compare speakers and make sure that your balance is correct. Really works great for something like that. Now when you're setting up like a movie theater, when you've got all kinds of speakers that you're going to be using and amplifiers, subwoofers, and other systems that you're going to have. A dB meter is excellent, is excellent to allow you to monitor. You play a test tone on your amplifier and you could then calibrate your surround sound, your back speakers left to right your front left right and your center so another example is you have a, a power tool and you're curious you do a search online you know what a good safe level is for monitoring or if you're constantly using it so if you turn that on see it's about 75 decibels at about a foot away so that's good to know, and you can lock that measurement in right there. 
Oh, here's a shop vac, and I know they are noisy, so let's try that. Well, you can see it's about 84.3 decibel. Uh, that's pretty loud. So this is a really handy tool to have. So many applications, you want to get a reference point for a signal. Uh, 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 could be a speaker. As I showed you, it could be a power tool. You want, to, you want to get a safe level to the decibels of uh, anything outside a train, an airplane. You want to get a good measurement of the decibels A rating or, or C rating. This is excellent for that. So what do I think about the top test? This TS-501B dB meter. I'm impressed with the quality of this. Very simple to use as a display. I basically figured out without the manual and that's what's nice about this and it works really well so I'm gonna give this product a full five-star rating I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision thank you for watching